Hey, this is Scott Hanselman, and this is the Windows 10 Technical Preview, specifically build 9860. This is newer than build 9841, which is the original uh, version of, the first version, rather, of the Windows Technical Preview. Now, if you go and hit Start and type Update, and then click on Check for Updates, you'll bring in the PC Settings. Now, below that, on Preview Builds, this is where you see your update. If you haven't already got this build, you can go here and hit check now. You can also click check the time that my PC looks for this stuff. It's going to be using the automatic maintenance schedule task to decide when it's time to do this. So uh, make sure that you check that out. Now you might find the color here to be a little bit gross. The color is changing automatically based on my background. And then this color here, right now is green, if we go back out, we type update, is now green. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things that have changed between 9841 and 9860. Now Microsoft says that there have been thousands and thousands of improvements and bug fixes. I assume that means that there have been open bugs and then closed bugs. So it doesn't literally mean that there are uh, you know 7,000 new little features. Uh, the primary features, the ones that are not invisible to us that I can immediately see are animations. So this is really interesting and I'll do this a couple of times just to make sure you see it. I'm just going to open and close home. It's a little bit, um, a little jelly, a little juicy. Uh, it's it has a an animation where it gets bigger and then kind of settles down. You see that a lot in uh, Disney cartoons. The minimize animation I'm not a big fan because it kind of gets smaller and then disappears, but it's interesting. I have found in this particular build in 9860, snap assist is unreliable. So if I snap to the side, I would expect other applications to appear on the left here. That was one of the really cool features that was. Uh, presented in the very first stage presentation of Windows Technical Preview. I snapped to the side and then we would get this nice view like this. I'm finding that in this particular build to be rather unreliable. Uh, I can get it back if I sign in and sign out. Not too worried about it, but interesting. Now we're used to the Action Center. That's been around for a very long time. In this build is the first incarnation of the notifications. Uh, you can see it's rough, the fonts are weird, the spacing is off, there's a GUID in here, but um, that's the beginning of the first notifications, and this is where your notifications for Skype and Calendar and Store and you know Outlook and all the different things will, will go. I presume it will get a lot more polished and uh, move forward. What's really interesting and what I'm excited about are some, in this particular build, some improvements to virtual desktops. We saw before in the video with my wife, and I would encourage you to check that out. If you click Task View, you've got Add a Desktop. Now, in Windows 7 and Windows 8, you can hit Windows D. I'm pressing the Windows key and D, and that will just show the desktop. You can see that the icons are still the same down here. I'm just hiding them, showing the desktop, and then putting that back. Uh, but I understand now that there are some hotkeys that have been added to make virtual desktops easier to use. Windows Control D, you notice that animation there, will uh, make a new virtual desktop. Okay, we still can't change the wallpaper on a virtual desktop basis, but now Windows Control left and right, let me switch between them. So I'll put Excel over on this desktop, along we'll say with Mail in a window. and then over here is notepad and word so I've got virtual desktops and I'm using control windows and the left arrow and the right arrow and now if I get rid of that desktop here everything collapses and now we're all on the same desktop A couple of other interesting things that have shown up data sense showing me how many gigs on Wi-Fi that I've used. This is, looks very similar to the Windows Phone data sense feature and you can certainly assume that that will fill up with the applications that I use. Right now it looks more like a framework for data sense. I see grayed out options but things on restricting background data. That's going to be nice when traveling. And then battery saver. 
Uh, right now I haven't been able to have it do anything. When I go out and then come back in, it just turns off. Uh, but presumably we're going to see Battery Saver and Data Sense being first class citizens in some future version of Windows. So again, this is Windows 10 Technical Preview 9860. I'll do quick little videos as each new build comes out so you can keep up and you can decide whether or not that's a build that you want to take. Thanks a lot. And again, I would encourage you to check out all of my videos. I'm keeping them all in a playlist. You can check them out at Hanselman.com slash Windows 8, including the very popular Windows 8 The Missing Instruction Manual. And you're helping me out when you share my videos. So please, please share those videos. Subscribe. There'll be more to come.